Hey, today's a special day. Not necessarily because I show you how to create beach wave simulations like this one. Uh, no, uh, it's because our planet, as you know, is kind of dying. Uh, a little while ago, Mr. Beast and Mark Rover and many other people started something called hashtag Team Trees. Today, we will be planting 20 million trees. Probably heard of it. Guess what? Today, the 29th of October, they're back. But this time it's called hashtag Team Seas. They're trying to raise money to get rid of trash in the world. And this is why we create this simulation. Um, you know, right there. Last time, one dollar meant one tree. Uh, this time, one dollar equals a pound less trash and water. And the goal is to get rid of 30 million pounds of trash. One half goes to the Ocean Conservancy, which they will use to clean up beaches by hand uh, and the ocean by boat. The other half goes to the Ocean Cleanup and UN. Uh, and they're focusing on rivers. They will put those rover boats into the worst polluting rivers to eat it up. Well, the trash. So it'd be great if you go to teamseas.org and maybe donate some money and share it with your friends. Uh, and your grandma, cause she's definitely gonna share it on Facebook. So let's start with the tutorial. As usual, you can download the scene for free down in the description below. To create a domain, you need this cube and set it to wire in the viewport. In the physics panel, make it a domain. Make a liquid, then create a plane. This is our oceanic floor. Uh, now make it a little longer by scaling it by pressing S and either X or Y. Press tab to go to the edit mode. Press Ctrl and R for ring loop thingy and slice it in half. Then Ctrl and R again and move the mouse wheel a bit so you add some more loop cuts. Now let's make the ocean floor beach shaped uh, English be like by enabling this mostly ignored feature here. Set it to this. Go select one end of the floor plane and press G and then set to move it. Now depending on how aggressive you want them waves to be you may want to make this a little more steep. Making it steeper will result into smaller waves coming in from the ocean. However they will violently explode at this uh, pressure zone right here because there's a lot of water wanting to go somewhere and if it's steep the only way is up. Making a smoother transition will result into surfable Hawaiian looking waves. So far we don't have water though. Get out of edit mode by pressing tab again and copy the floor. Hide the floor and delete the beach parts. Select the leftover faces and press E. And extrude the water emitting object like this. Press enter. Then press S to scale it and then set to smooth it out. Also press zero. If it looks like it would be the right amount of water for a beach. Add the liquid flow. The ground should also be thick like this. And the ground should get some collision. Both are found in a physics panel. Time to get a cube. Again, first shape it like this. And hop into the edit mode, select uh, this corner. And then press Ctrl B to bevel. Move the mouse and uh, the mouse wheel to shape it like this. This will be the water pusher. It also needs some collision and some keyframes. By pressing N, make sure you're not in edit mode first. And move it up. Keyframe by pressing I and down like this. Now you're gonna make sure the scaling of the scene is right. The beaches are a bit bigger than 2 meters. And make sure the scale is applied by pressing Ctrl and A. And you know, selecting scale. Else uh, this might throw the whole simulation off. You'll also want to copy and paste those keyframes all over the timeline. The timing of the water pushing almost cube thingy will vary a lot depending on basically everything. Scale of the scene, aggressiveness of the sea floor and your taste. Time to pay. Go to the domain and increase the resolution to yes. It will eat up all your RAM. Add the mesh, which will need a little more RAM. And add special fun particles. Spray, foam and the beloved bubbles. And get a fire extinguisher for your RAM. We don't want Jimmy to come back again and make, you know, hashtag Team Trees 2.0. Uh, I mean that in a good way. Set a method to all and have fun. Uh, sometimes everything just explodes and you'll have to bake it again. Or change the resolution a teeny tiny bit. And you might also have to increase the up steps. Which might also help with the water eating water pusher. No, no, no. Yeah, they somehow exist. And if the water just falls through the floor, your faces might be facing the wrong, you know, way. And also if you don't have water, um, this could fix it. You just have to go into edit mode of the object. Select all faces and press F3. And look for flip and press enter. If all that doesn't work out, uh, I don't know. Uh, wait for Blender 3, I guess? For now, the special fun particles can't be rendered yet. So we need a sphere, a low-res sphere. And make it white and a bit transparent with the alpha effect thingy in the shaders. Yo. And set the particle render to, well, this sphere. You'll also need to scale the sphere a bit, else uh, the particles might be too big. And also, if all the particles are underwater, uh, you can just go back to the particle into the edit mode and, you know, kind of push it up from its origin point, which is this little thing right there. 
the bottom needs a bit of blue volume scatter and you'll be done for today. Again, don't forget to go to teamseas.org and help out, our planet needs it, if you can. If you liked the video, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike and comment down below why you didn't like it, why you did like it. If you loved it, sub to my channel and ring the bell to never miss an upload of mine. Uh, this video will show you how to um, uh, make snow in Blender. Yes, simulated snow. Uh, I used a molecular add-on with it. And again, don't forget, hashtag teamseas and, you know, share it. Bye. Bye.